Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Blue Marble Science. You guys want to see the worst flat earth demonstration on record? Well, here it comes, brought to you by Flatsoid. Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out those oven mitts, push the monitors back out of punching range, and let's light this dumpster fire and have some fun. Hey, Gladys, you ready? <coughs> well, let's get to it. Well, the big hubbub is over this beautiful photograph. This is a picture of Blackpool and the Blackpool Tower that you see right there. And that's on the uh, western coast of England. But you also see some very, very lovely mountains in the background. Now, the Blackpool Tower is about 20 kilometers away from the photographer. But those mountains are 80 to 100 kilometers away. And they're more than in some cases much more than four times the height of the tower. Unfortunately for the flat earth movement, those mountains are considerably below the height of the tower. Now all this shows is that it simply cannot be a flat earth. This has been analyzed by a lot of the guys and you'll find it on many of the channels. So I'm not going to go through any of that. I just want to show you uh, how tragically wrong these flat earthers can get things when they are desperate to try to prove the earth is actually flat. Let's listen to Flatsoid. Well, I'm sure most people have seen this picture going around with uh, ranty cats and roof. Um, they claim it's actual curve. I'm just going to explain to you and show you with demonstration that it's just literally perspective and occulting due to the limited angle. Okay, yeah, I took a measurement on Google Earth from the Velvet uh, Trail car park to Blackpool Tower and to the mountains behind it. And yeah, I did the orthographic view. Um, that would really be to scale because it seems that Randy and them don't want to do it to scale because they're trying to be as honest. But I'm just going to show you how it's literally just optical occultation due to the limited angle. Flat Zoid, you should have quit while you were ahead. At this point, you have the correct answer. Both your measurements of the angular size of the tower and the mountains in the background as well as this little orthographic view you put together are completely correct. And from this, you can see that there is no way on a flat earth, those mountains in the background could appear lower than Blackpool Tower, yet they do. What's the answer? Earth curve. Let's see how you're gonna wiggle out of this one. Um. See, I've made uh, Dow Cray, the mountain that's behind it, in Blackwood Tower. I've made it more than double its size. Wait a minute, Knucklehead. According to your information, Blackpool Tower is 158 meters high. Dow Craig is 778 meters high. Dow Craig is 4.9 times as high as Blackpool Tower, not two times as high. What are you doing? just to give a, you know, just a scaled out version. Yeah, I've more or less uh, put them down, the scaled version down. You see how it is sinking in down to the bottom. Is it really now um, curving down? No, it's not. Blackpool Tower is closer to you and because it's also close to you and your angle that you're actually looking at, Remember, you're still looking up at Blackwood Tower because you are at the, let's say, the feet of Blackwood Tower because you are much, much smaller than Blackpool Tower. So let's see if we understand this. You've already done an angular size analysis and you've made an orthographic view conclusively proving that those mountains cannot be below the height of Blackpool Tower. Now you've switched to some paper dolls which are horrifically out of scale. You only miss that by a factor of about two and a half. And you've got them sitting on some kind of countertop at just random distances. Uh, maybe this will help. <laughs> okay, one last time. 
These are small, but the ones out there are far away. <laughs> small, far away. I forget it. If you notice that black line that uh, Dow Craig is now looking at the same elevation as Black Book Tower, just that alone shows you you get optical drop due to the optical occultation thanks to limited angle. Well, Branty, you just have proven to everybody that because you say you have to ignore perspective and after all your thousands and thousands of observations, one picture is now making a globe. Well, there you have it my candidate for the worst flat earth demonstration on record hey thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons down there ring that little bell if you want notifications shout out to the patrons and the paypals look for your name it'll be in the list to follow and we'll catch you guys on the next one hey gladys uh -huh. we're out of here